high down trigger, uh, J size. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, met you in San Diego, and I told you about uh, my group, Intermittent Fasting for Vegans, and um, they had one question that they wanted me to ask you, and I didn't. Uh, I, the, it's 90% uh, female, and they want to know dietarily what they can do from perimenopause through menopause and beyond, other than HRT or black cohosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Um so first of all, just in terms of intermittent fasting, it's the largest uh, chapter in my book is after accident and intermittent fasting, where I talk about all the different types. Um, some of which good, some of which bad. Um, but uh, no, but in terms of what we can do during current menopause for combating the symptoms of menopause, um, soy foods. Um, and so, I mean, there's a reason why in Japan, which is the country with the highest soy consumption on average in the world, has no, uh, has no word in the Japanese language for hot flashes, because it's just not something um, that they have to deal with. And so we do these randomized controlled studies where we can prove we can significantly decrease hot flash bathing soy foods. Now there are healthier or less healthy soy foods. By preference would be whole soy foods, so that's like a can of soybeans, or edamame, the immature green soybeans still in the pond, or miso tempeh, where you can see the individual soybeans in there, as opposed to something like soy milk or tofu, which still would actually help with menopausal symptoms just as well, because it's actually the isoflavones, which are found in all soy foods, but um, uh, less healthy, just they have less fiber, they're just not as, um, I prefer people to whole foods, if, if, however possible, for the other benefits, but for the uh, menopausal benefits, any kind of uh, uh, soy food will do. And since you uh, brought up soy, uh, and we were talking about nuts, could you talk a little bit about how not to add heat to things like that, because of the AG, you don't want to toast your nuts. Oh, and, yeah, 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 so, um, yeah, so this is kind of an unusual, so when high fat, high protein foods are exposed to high dry heat temperatures, such as boiling, barbecuing, baking, um, so anything basically above kind of steaming or boiling, um, you produce these compounds called beds, like Cajun in products. Um, uh, the so-called glycotoxins are not good for you for a variety of reasons. It's got a bunch of videos on that. Um, and so, but that's not a problem. So if you look at the list of, so in How Not to Die, this is the top 20 food, top 20 um, most concentrated sources of AGs. Number one is broiled hot dogs, and it's in the Mc McDonald's and nuggets, and um, it goes down on the list. And they're all, of course, animal foods. But there are some rare plant foods that actually have a combination of high protein, high fat, like tofu. We should not Cajun blacken our tofu. Um, we should not broil our tofu. Um, to deep fry our tofu um, because we get the same kind of products that are, that are created. And the same thing with nuts. We really shouldn't. Um, uh, we shouldn't uh, toast our nuts, as delicious as toasted nuts are. Right. We should try to eat our nuts and nut butters raw. Thanks. Um, yeah. You're a hero. Thank you for everything you do. So have a health.